danzas. On our program today of Latin American Music, we're going to explore several kinds of dances. They're usually called danzas, though. That's the national dance of Puerto Rico. Just like the national dance of Poland is the mazurka, every country has its own favorite dance style. The first one we're going to listen to is a little bolero, and it's kind of a sad sort of thing. It's a lament, really, but it has that nice bolero-type rhythm, which is in threes. And if you listen to the harmonies and the words, which the name of the song is If You Love Me, it has a nice Caribbean quality. It's not the kind of dance that you want to jump up and dance to, but it has a nice quality, and it's got those driving rhythms, and it's got nice words, and then it has sort of pretty harmonies. Here's a Puerto Rican lament, which is called a bolero. That was Si Mi Quieres, If You Love Me, sung by the Quintetto Boraquín. And Boraquín is a section in San Juan in Puerto Rico. Now we're going to go to another type of dance form, the tango. And there are all kinds of tangos in Latin America. They're the Argentinian kind, the kind that the woman puts on high heels, and she jumps up onto the dance floor and picks out a sexy-looking man with slick back hair, and they do a very dangerous dance. And that kind sounds like this. And it has that incredible rhythm. The other kind of tango comes from Brazil, and it's more European, and it's much more gentle, and it's the type of dance I was talking about before. You sit still and listen to it. 
because the rhythms are choppier. You can't dance to it because they're moving in a different pattern. It's not steady like that one was. This one goes. So you wouldn't really know where to put your feet. And the master of this type of Brazilian tango was a man named Ernesto Nazareth. He was born back in 1863 and lived till 1934, which is quite a long life for those times. He didn't have a happy life. He came from a modest family. He studied piano with his mother, and he had a few lessons along the way, and he supported himself by playing in a silent movie theater called the Odeon. And that's how he made money to buy music paper and generally get, get along in life. And he eventually went blind, and he eventually died without a penny to his name, which is a sad commentary because now his tangos are very much prized, and they've been recently republished after a long time when nobody even knew he was alive. And I'd like to share with you two of his tangos. The first one is called Odeon, because he often opened up his programs by playing this one, and it has a very choppy beat to it. And it's also written in a hard key, C-sharp minor, and that's what makes it interesting. Here's Odeon by Nazareth. sensation there of it being sort of ripped right off. It's like a little concert piece. And Nazareth has been called the Chopin of Latin America, or maybe even the Joplin of Brazil. Here's another tango from Ernesto Nazareth called Plangente. And it has a very melancholic sound. And again, it starts off with a wail. And then the rhythm kicks in. little tiny sample of two tangos by Ernesto Nazareth. Now eventually comes along a composer named Astor Piazzolla, and he's Argentinian, and he just died. So he is very much the um, composer who takes what Nazareth put in motion and builds on it, as so often happens in the arts. And Astor Piazzolla became very famous because he wrote down tangos, and they could be played by classical musicians. And that's always an important thing that happens. If we didn't have Ellington writing down jazz, then musicians today couldn't play his arrangements. And a lot of times music is extemporaneous and there's no written record, so musicians are just left to make it up. It's much better if you have music that you can play. Piazzolla became famous for his tangos and there have been some tango reviews on Broadway. And eventually a classical violinist named Gidon Kramer, who's right at the top of his field, commissioned Piazzolla to write some tangos for his chamber ensemble. So it's really a, um, an example of what we call crossover in the music business. Here's a very nice tango called The Street, La Calle, that was written by Piazzolla for Gidon Kramer. Thank you. 
We just heard La Calle, which is the tango written by Piazzolla for his good friend Guidon Kramer. <laughs> 